Hi, I'm Armando Fox. And I'm Dave Patterson. Welcome to week one of Engineering Software as a Service. And we're going to try each week to do a short screen side chat like this one, where we cover some interesting material that isn't officially in the course syllabus, but is related in some way to the topics being covered each week. Let us start off with telling you to stick with the course. It's supposed to be engineering software as a service, but you're going to have to learn some tools to be able to learn the ideas. And to learn those tools, you're going to have to learn Ruby. So it looks like language-ish, but we're going to get to the ideas pretty quickly. Uh, also, for those of you in other countries that may not be aware of the Affordable Care Act or Health care.gov or Obamacare as it's called. It's been a big topic in the United States, front page news about how terrible the software was and how it's affected both the president and even the secretary of the department's done was forced to resign. So it's a real live example of the importance of learning software engineering that affects your daily lives of people around the world. Uh, and that's a good segue to the other point we wanted to mention this week. There's a very nice article that you can uh, click the URL on your screen to get to it, or we hope you can click it, but it's an article called Thank You, Kent Beck. Uh, Kent Beck is generally credited as the uh, inventor of the XP or Extreme Programming Style of Agile, which we teach in this course, and the article is kind of a summary of 12 best practices that came out of the Agile and XP movement that really have stood the test of time in terms of being effective software engineering techniques. And a big message of the article, and I think part of our message in this course, is that Agile and XP is really an entire way of thinking about the development, deployment, and testing process. So you can't sort of cherry pick three or four of those principles, ignore the other ones, and expect everything to work out. You really have to change your style of thinking and embrace all of them. So uh, we strongly recommend you read the article. It's entertaining. It's written by uh, Uncle Bob. Uh, who you might know as uh, one of the authors of the other books that we recommend on uh, refactoring and clean code. Uh, so check it out and keep in mind as you go through this course, a lot of what you may be used to doing is going to seem very different to what we're teaching you. Uh, but have some faith and we believe if you pull all these principles together, it really will change the way you do software development for the better. And you won't have disasters like the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> so that's it for this week's Screenside Chat. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're uh, enjoying the uh, CS169X in Sam Joseph's capable hands, and we'll be back to talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Take care.